I think we found my top number one toy for 2019 coming up after this. Oh, plus the advent calendar. All by little people. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. You get toys. So all Christmas long, I've been opening my little people advent calendar. This year, I've been super obsessed with little people. For some reason, Fisher Price and Mattel are pushing it. They've even come into the adult market kind of thing. Like this year, out of nowhere, they started releasing like Kiss and the Beatles and WWE figures. They have this new style where their arms are outreached a little bit. I was gonna pull out some of the other ones, but I think I'm gonna have to do that in a different video. I do have to show you where it all started. They used to be made out of wood. They had little wooden bodies and they've come a long way. They've had articulation throughout the years. They've gotten bigger, they've gotten smaller again. They gotten wider and this was the step before where they had their hands down by their side. They were a little more hollow. This year or the past, I'd say three years, they've moved into this direction where they have their arms reached out and they're a little stiffer, harder. But there's something about the new style that I really fell in love with and became an even bigger Little People fan. The advent calendar that I'm opening is of the older style, but not the oldest style. But just yesterday I was at Toys R Us and I saw these babies on the shelf. This has taken Little People in a totally new adorable direction. In fact, I went to two different Toys R Us to make sure that I could hunt down all of these little mini packs of babies. I don't know what it is. They do remind me of like 1950s baby toys and wind up toys and cutie dolls and they kind of have all of that cuteness. They're super kawaii. Even the artwork on these boxes are incredible. There are a few other sets. There is a giant play set that is available at Toys R Us as well. Uh, it's $35, $36, so I'm kind of waiting for a sale to get that. And it's a little play bag, and you can Velcro it up, I think, and store your little figures inside. There are two larger sets. There's this bath set, and there's also this snack and nap set. And they're all really cute. But we're going to open up all the other little vehicle packs and twin packs, where there's actually three sets of three different twin babies. So I'm going to open them all. Let me set up a little station where we can look at it. I'm sorry if any of you guys have vertigo or anything because we probably will have some shaking around today. Uh, okay, I want to be careful with the packaging because it is so cute. Even though mine's a little bent up, one of these has a crusty face. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if I can see. Hopefully it's just a glue on the outer box or something that I can scrape off. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, and I do have scissors here. So let me put on my glasses. Let me put the advent friends up here for now. Best advent calendar I ever opened, probably because of how cute the figures are and how much I love them. But this new pastel packaging, I don't know. This baby line is the ultimate in cuteness. Cashiers usually don't comment on the toys that I bought, but both times yesterday, the cashiers were like, oh my goodness, those are so cute. And I should have probably exchanged this one. It seems to be not glue, but the actual plastic is melted on the face. Yeah, I think it seems to be like a melted defect, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just glue from the hair or something. I think I seem to be scratching some of it off without it taking off the eye or eyebrow, but look how cute that baby is. Look at its bum, that's so cute. And then it has a twin sister and she looks like this. I think there's two molds that they use. They seem to give one a bib and no shirt, and they give one a shirt. And what is on her shirt? She's got a little unicorn, I believe. So those two twins, cute. Okay, Christmas babies are all gonna have to stand to the back. Is my light too bright? And the set also comes with two little blankets. And they're a stiffer polyester material, but it's soft on one side. And you can see that unicorn even better up close the stars, that's the pattern. Put that blanket down for them. And then, oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, they're falling. I think this is gonna be secure. There's too much going on. I probably should have did this at my table. And then the other one's got this really cute pink sky with clouds. Okay, I'm gonna open up all the twins first. So the paint jobs aren't perfect on these, but I mean, they are super duper cute. They really have plump bums. They've got tattoos on their feet that say little people. This one is holding a teddy bear. And then this one's holding a bottle and it just has the bib on and a full diaper with little tufts of hair at the top. Bald, cute babies. The patterns on these blankets are awesome. So then we've got this triangle one and then we've got this really cute bear blanket. Walk that down here. Adorbs. So cute. These are the next twins, the foxy twins. Their blankets are like this, that fox blanket, so cute. And then I love this leaf pattern too. Very, very adorable. Twin baby number one, darker complected. It also has a bottle. So looks like they've used exactly the same mold, just in a different color. And then we've got this baby in the fox t-shirt and a yellow bear pacifier, full diaper. And let's put them down there. Cute, 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 cute. So cute. All right, now let's back everyone up just a little bit more because we're about to check out this next set. Let's open up the panda set. It looks like it comes with an awesome sleeping bag. Look at that baby sucking on his toe. Adorable. I guess he's rolling around like a panda bear. These are a really good size too. They're quite big. This is like a baby holding onto a Masters of the Universe action figure. It is chunky and hunky, which I guess would be why I love it. It's kawaii. It's everything I could possibly love in a toy. Look how cute the black panda t-shirt is with the stars and his diaper and this hat. It looks like it's a separate mold and it's glued on, but it does not come off because you have to remember babies are playing with these toys and me. And it comes with this lion car, functioning wheels. This set went for $8.99 in Canada and the twin packs went for $6.99. So these are very affordable prices and awesomely adorable cute everything. Okay, I'm gonna open up this pack. Look at that bunny peeking out headgear again. So this one comes with a little crib and it's a, like a bunny crib. You see some bunny and stars detail. There's lots of star details. There's a little screws holding it together. And I like this star pattern that's like holding the basin in position. And then they have a couple ones that totally go through both of the plastic. That's really interesting and such a cool detail. There's also some stars on the sides there. And oh, I forgot from this set, it, they all come with this little fabric thing. And this one comes with a little fabric sleeping bag. So a little panda bag, it's thinner than I thought it would be. It's even thinner than the blankets are, I believe. Maybe about the same thickness. And you can stick the little guy in there, in this little sleeping bag. You could probably put him on his car. I should have put him on his car. I can put one of the other babies on the car, actually. Let's do that while he's napping. Adorable. You're gonna love this. So we've got this baby with its bottle and its bib and its bum. So cute. It also has a little tuft of hair. It's a little black tuft of hair. And it comes with this little sleeping bag cozy. It's bunny shaped. So just like a little envelope, you're going to tuck his feet in the bottom. Then you're going to put the little hood on. And voila! You got a little baby bunny with a bottle. <laughs> Whoa, that is cute. Look how cute that is. And then you can stick him in his little bassinet there and he can sleep. On the playset, there is a little bed and there's a little sheet attached. And you can pull the little sheet over. It's super cute. Look even, oops, look at the bum. There's a little cotton tail on the back. He has to share. No, 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 I don't know. I can't, I can't decide what's cuter. They share, is that cuter? But, 
One last set. I have to find the rest of the sets. I might have to go buy the big play set too. It'd be a great place to keep everything in. These little vehicles are very similar to the little vehicles that used to come with the original little people too. We've got this tricycle and it's got this really cute funny face on it. And you know what? That's a blue frog. That is what's going on there because this is the frog set and there's little stars on the wheels. Here we have a little frog. Whoa, whoa, we have little frog boy. Can you hold the car up for us? Thanks buddy, frog boy. And there's a mouth on the top there. Can you believe this? Can you believe the cuteness? That's his bum. The cutest design award for me goes to the frog itself on the sleeping bag. That's one cute little frog. I think that's the cutest thing of all. And you can place him also inside his little sleeping bag, like so. And he can take a nap. And then this guy can ride off on the little frog bike. So cute. I can't handle how cute these things are. This is definitely the best Christmas gift ever for me. Yeah, these are my favorite toys of 2019. Adorable, so cute. It's little people cutified exponentially. I thought with the Beatles and the Kiss and the WWE figures had taken it to a new level, but this, this is too much. I don't know if they're gonna stop making the regular gang like Kobe and whatever their names are. I still haven't found out what their names are. We're gonna open up one more of them. We're gonna find out what we get next after this in the advent calendar. Let me know which one of these characters are your favorites. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. After this, we're gonna open up door number 17. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. Yeah, toys. All right, guys, it's such a huge baby party today. Are you ready to find out what's gonna happen with the baby party? We got a figure yesterday. So yesterday we got, I think her name's Mia. I forgot to check that too. We got her yesterday. So I wonder, I don't think we're gonna get a character today, but we didn't get a character for a long time. We've got tables and chairs and sacks of toys, oh my. So it's possible 17, this 16 was yesterday. 17, 17, oh, it's right next to 16. I think it's gonna be a figure. I just have this feeling. It's not. What it is, is it's letters to Santa Claus, Santa Claus letters, adorable. Cute, cute. Oh, look, they've got markings on the back and the front. I love that detail. That is so cool. They can't really hold them or anything, but you can just tuck that into here. Hopefully Santa finds those letters before Christmas comes. It's really close. We're getting real, real close. I think this one's the winner. It's hard to compete with that, isn't it? Best toys ever.